there's a lot of similarities with this plan on that map. In fact, if you look at that map, you see that the, um, by far, I think, the largest undeveloped tracts of land that are in Franklin or in the UGB anymore are this area, some of which we have annexed. Um, and I live in Fieldstone Farms, and I represent that area of the city. And were this annexed, I would have a lot of angry voters. <laughs> um, but I, th that's not why I would vote the way I'm going to vote. Um, procedurally, I, I'm a little bit concerned about shutting down dialogue and shutting down planning straight out of the box. We have never had this process before where the city of Franklin Board of Mayor and Aldermen told staff whether or not to develop a plan of services. Every, in 16 years that I've been here, every proposal staff prepared a plan of services as part of an annexation and development proposal and then came with the annexation and proposal as a package that had a plan of services. Now, in fairness, the plan of services that is contemplated today is a much more comprehensive evaluation planning tool than the ones that we have had in the past. So I'm concerned about setting a precedent where you have a lot of good citizens take the first opportunity to stop a proposal um, because the result of that could be that we don't get valuable information, we don't get valuable planning tools. You know, until we had developed even the rudimentary, oh, it's more than rudimentary, but until we had the plan of services that has been drafted, I don't think we had a lot of information circulating about, well, exactly what would the cost and what would the necessary uh, improvements be for any scale development in this area. You know, now we have a document that's been developed because of this process that informs us that there's three and a half million dollars worth of necessary road projects on one side of it and another five or five and a half million north of that. That's the kind of, inner, inner, of information that comes to light and that staff generates <coughs> when we ask them to generate a plan of services. I think that's valuable. It, 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 it certainly is worth knowing because as everyone that spoke said more or less I'm not against everything I'm against this I'm against this now well what that what that means is that we as a community need to be thinking about well okay what what would it take and what would what would we like there and what would we need a developer to do as part of that well that's what a plan of services contemplates so it's, it's a little bit troublesome to me to say, I don't even want to know that. I don't even want to have that conversation. I don't want anyone to tell me anything about what development in that area of the community might require or look like or what kind of burdens and opportunities we would have there. I don't want to, I don't want to have a situation where we have a joint meeting with the mayor of the county to discuss that. I don't want to, I don't want to create an environment in which you rally your people and shut that conversation down. And I don't fault any of you for coming here and saying what you've said. I live and work and travel in the same places that you do. All that said, however, this specific plan of services, in my view, should not move forward tonight because there are certain what I consider to be insurmountable flaws with it, at least at this time. That's not to say that nothing will ever go there or Del Webb could never be proposed or approved or anything like that. I, that's not before us. But what is before us is a plan of services that in my view would dramatically negatively impact an existing neighborhood and Whitehall and would dramatically negatively impact a segment of our community with inadequate solutions proposed as part of it. 
we've had dialogue with the developer. The, the, the city's proposal to the developer called for certain specific road improvements to be made. Those were rejected. I'm not willing to have ambiguous commitments as a basis for further conversations. So as much as I'm concerned about the process, I'm satisfied at this time that we're kind of at a dead end with this. Alderman Peterson. Uh, I think that at this time, and especially considering that we have heard recently that Matt Catcher is not in the works anytime soon, uh, it, it would really not be worthwhile to investigate having this many additional um, uh, d this additional development out here. I would recommend that we look at the land use plan in this area. I, I've been on the Planning Commission for a long time, even though I have not been uh, on this board, I guess six years now. But I do remember that in some areas, people came and spoke to the, the people who were developing the land use plan. And I still have a letter from one of them who said, they let us speak, but then they did what they wanted to. And so I do not want that to occur if we review this part of the land use plan. I want people to be involved and to be listened to and some accommodation to come together, perhaps even with uh, the, the people from the county, uh, uh, you know, the, the government from the county also. But uh, it seems to me that there are some things in this part that certainly I do not agree with at this point that are in the current land use plan, but there were a lot of things in the land use plan that I did not agree with. But, but I'm just saying this is one of the places where we definitely need to have a review before we m make a next step. Alderman Skinner. Mr. Mayor, I'll be real brief uh, so these good people can finally go home. Uh, Franklin in the past has made some mistakes where they allowed for development uh, before we really could provide the sufficient uh, infrastructure that would support that development. And uh, I'm, I'm afraid this is another case that we should not repeat. Um, I'll a I'd ask that uh, we go ahead and call for the vote. Alderman Berger. I just want to say one more thing that uh, I want to know, like Dana said, I want to know, and I'm very concerned with the process, we need to know, we need to have a land use plan, we, we need to have a plan of services rather, but we don't want to waste time, and what I've heard with all the board members tonight, we don't want to waste time and money of doing it now, because it's not, it's the cart before the horse, the thing, and I'd like to direct staff to start immediately to look at, our through our planning department, to look at the land use plan starting first of the year, to take a look as soon as we can to start Redo, uh, looking at the land use plan for the West Harpeth area, um, setting up a meeting with the county, taking a look at that uh, new uh, uh, committee within or part of the Department of TDOT um, that they've established to talk to them. And then we're moving together uh, ahead with the land with the uh, thoroughfare plan as well. And then at the appropriate time that those things come together, we need to move ahead with the plan of services. Okay, we're ready to vote, but before we uh, vote, I would uh, uh, do one little housekeeping thing that I know there's going to be a mass exodus of uh, people. Uh, we have uh, still a number of items on the agenda to consider, and I would ask that you uh, leave quietly and also not congregate in the hall, just outside those doors and uh, discuss uh, what's occurred. So we would appreciate that so we can uh, uh, continue our business. So. Uh, uh, since we're ready to vote, all. Uh, What's the, the motion? Let's, uh, let's review the motion. Didn't you second the motion, Margaret? The motion was denied. <laughs> Not to proceed with the plan. Of no, it's been a long time. time. <laughs> so. Um, to deny it. Yeah. So, all those in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Opposed? 
passes unanimously. Item number 14. Do Consider stay around and you'll enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Item 14, Consideration Ordinance 2013-64, an ordinance of fiscal year 2014, first quarter budget amendments, establishing a public hearing for January the 14th, 2014. Second. second. Appropriate motion second. Any discussion? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Number 15, Consideration Resolution 2013-78, a resolution to amend the 2013-2014 budget relative to the reclassification of one full-time sanitation and environmental services driver <laughs> operator to one full-time technical support analyst within the sanitation and environmental services department organization. Move for approval. Approval. Second. Motion. Second. <clears throat> By Alderman Barnhill. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item number 16, consideration resolution 2013-79, a resolution to amend the 2013-14 budget relative to parks department personnel changes from seasonal employees <coughs> to full-time employment. Move for approval. Appropriate motion. Second. Seconded by Alderman Vice Mayor Peterson, rather. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Number 17, consideration resolution 2013-83, a resolution to approve the purchase of the interim ultraviolet disinfection equipment purchased for the Franklin Water Department plant, water treatment plant in order to be in compliance of the EPA long-term two-surface water treatment rule. Move for approval. Second. Seconded by Alderman Barnhill. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item number 18, consideration of contract award to Frost Brown Todd, LLC of Nashville, Tennessee, in an amount not to exceed $17,500 for lobbyists and legislative consultant services through June the 30th, 2014, with options to extend beyond such date, uh, subject to negotiation for the law department. Move for approval. Appropriate motion by Alderman Bransford. Second. Seconded by Alderman Barnhill. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Passes unanimously. Item number 19, consideration of a bid award to Stringfellow <coughs> Incorporated of Nashville in the amount of $144,621 for one truck mounted knuckle boom loader. Is there a motion? Move for approval. Second. Appropriate motion. Seconded by Alderman Berger. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item number 20, consideration of agreement with Mike Ford Custom Builders for one-time sanitary sewer maintenance contribution for the Blossom Park Development Pump Station. I would ask for deferral to January the so 14th. Moved. Second. Uh, appropriate motion and second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Number 21, consideration of amendment number two to City of Franklin contract number 2012-0183 with Smith, Seckman, Reed for design services related to interim ultraviolet UV disinfection equipment for the Franklin Water Treatment Plant. Alderman Martin has recused herself. Is there a motion? Move for approval. Appropriate motion. Second. Second by Alderman Berger. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes uh, six. Six, and oh. six and with one abstaining. Right. Uh, next is um, uh, item 22, acknowledge your seat of the fiscal 2012-13 audit report. Um, so move. Appropriate motion. Is there a second? second. All, uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Number 23, acknowledge your seat of fiscal year 2012-13 conference center audit report. Move for approval. Second. Appropriate motion. Second by Alderman Bransford. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item number 24, consideration of mayor's appointment to the Sustainability Commission. Um, Miles Mental, Franklin Tamara board representative. Is there a motion? Move for approval. Second. Seconded by Alderman Martin. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Uh, next is consideration of mayor's nomination to the Tree Commission. Uh, I'm recommending reappointment of Beth Adams, citizen representative, Kim Hoover, citizen representative, Skip Hebert, citizen representative, Michael Johnson, Middle Tennessee Electric uh, Co Cooperative representative, Scott Harrison, Franklin Municipal Planning Commission representative. Is there a motion? Move for approval. Appropriate motion. Seconded by Alderman Skinner. 
Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes Ooh. unanimously. Number 26, consideration of mayor's nomination of the City of Franklin Housing Commission. This is for the nonprofit representative, and I'm recommending Alma McLemore. Move for approval. Appropriate Second. motion. Seconded by Alderman Peterson. Any uh, discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Passes unanimously. Item number 44, consideration of contract 2013-0140 with Tennessee Fair Housing Council. <laughs> Provide fair housing outreach services. Is there a motion? Move for approval. Appropriate motion. Second. Second by Alderman Barnhill. Discussion. I just pulled this because um, I've had some calls on it. Some people asked about what it was, and uh, I just wanted to just put it out there that we are just a pass through. This comes as a grant, federal grant, and it's basically going for education. Yeah, right. it, it's education, counseling, that kind of stuff related to fair housing practices. It's part of our, a lot of our CDBG program centers on benefit to low and moderate income families, especially as it relates to housing, and this component is a, a part of that comprehensive plan. Thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Is there any, are there any matters to consider in executive session? No. No, no matters. So I would okay. entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you.